ma'am. Now, let us begin our technical session. The speaker of the first session is Dr. Partho Bhattacharya, Assistant Professor, Department of English, <laughs> Amity University, Patna. The topic of his discussion is Mapping the Mystic East, Comic Studies and Tintin in Tibet. However, before Dr. Bhattacharya's lecture, I would like to request our HOD ma'am, Anjana ma'am, to formally introduce Dr. Bhattacharya. Anjana ma'am, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, Dr. Parthu Bhattacharya uh, is an accomplished person at a very young age, I see. Congratulations, Dr. Bhattacharya. I am uh, really fascinated uh, by uh, after reading your bio data. Dr. Parthu Bhattacharya is an assistant professor of English, Amity University of English Studies and Research. Amity University, Patna. He completed his MA in 2012 and MPhil 2016 from the University of Burdwan. He obtained his PhD in English from the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences from Indian Institute of Technology, Patna, in 2019. His research was based on trauma studies, memory, and post-memory studies in comics and graphic narratives. His research interests include South Asian literature, gender studies, and comic studies, autobiography, and translation studies. Apart from two chapters in edited volumes with Routledge, that is the global edition, and one with University Press of Mississippi, that is forthcoming. He has published with reputed journals like the Journal of Graphic Novels and Comics, Rupkotha, Gnosis, Indian University Press Journal of English Studies, Journal of English Language and Literature, etc. His Proposals have been accepted in reputed international conferences. I wish Dr. Bhattacharya a grand, successful career. Now, may I invite Dr. Bhattacharya to share with us his studious thoughts, his very treasured thoughts with the enthusiastic, eagerly waiting audience. Thank you. Thank you, Anjana ma'am. Yes. Thank you once again. Now, I would like to request our first speaker, Dr. Partho Bhattacharya, to begin his discussion. Dr. Bhattacharya, please proceed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Sumita Mukherjee, Vice Principal. I'd like to thank Mrs. Anjana Dev, the HD of the English Department. I'd like to thank Mohammad Abdul Salim sir and Damini Ray ma'am and SS Yadav, IQ Secure Indianator, HOD Hindi. Thank you all of you. Thanks a lot for inviting me. And uh, now I'd like to uh, focus on today's uh, lecture. Uh, should I share the screen right now? Yes, you may go ahead. Okay. Yes, please, please. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, is it full screen now? And is it visible on the screen? Yes, yes. Thank you. So today's topic is uh, mapping the mystic East comics, comic studies, and Tintin in Tibet. Okay, I'm Dr. Parthu Bhattacharji from Department of English, Amit University, Patna. Uh, this is a brief outline of my lecture. What is comics and comics and, and its nuances? Theorizing comic studies, what's in their quest for adventure, visualizing in Indian and Tibet, journey through mystic mystery, representation of East in Tintin. 
before I proceed to the next slide, uh, I'd like to share that uh, Tintin in Tibet was written uh, and uh, it is pronounced as Tata uh, Tibet. Is, we will pronounce it in English as Tintin in Tibet, yes, but it is pronounced as in French is Tata or Tibet. So that, that is what we should also follow. Uh, what is comics and what is its comics nuances? Narratives intertwine text and images from texts and images to form an image text. This is the first point. Now let us focus on what is a comics. What is a comics page? Uh, if we concentrate on a comics page, you'll find that there are so many things which are written as the alphabetical orders and which and there are some things which are the images or illustrations and both of both these things combined together is forming a page of comics. And that is why the term image text comes. And this term was coined by University of Florida in 2014-15 in their conference. Uh, what are the elements in comics? Since we, we need to read the textual portion, we also need to focus on the illustration part as well. Now, if we want, if we need to focus on the illustration part, we'll find that several several uh, you know missionaries are there to portray to sub to sub to support the text in these comics pages and what are the elements the elements first of all the speech bubbles the panels the gutters the sound effects and the other cartooning parts and the other cartooning uh, strategies this, those are the elements in the comics comics both singular and plural because it's it, it is it is it is termed as singular by scott mccloud in his book Understanding comics in 1993-1994, in page number seven, he said that comics is a singular word. So before we use the word comics as a plural, we must we must know that it it can be used as a singular word also. Now singular when referring to the medium itself and plural when referring to the works of comics all together collectively. Then we can say that it's a comics and it's a plural now. But when we use the word comics, it, it sometimes means the, uh, the one page comics or maybe the medium that I am choosing for pro pro producing the art. Part of popular culture appealing to the mass consuming, primarily catering to the children. Now, why, why it is called as the popular culture? Because it, 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 is, it is not the conventional one that we used to follow. The conventional novel which is very much text oriented but where whereas in comics you'll find that the text are supported by illustrations and these illustrations are helping you to deeply dive into the text one and choose that once you read or once you focus on those images it will give you a plethora of thinking it will give you a, a you know a new numerous ways of thinking and uh, focusing on those panels. Often confused related to the graphic novels as it is a business and craft. Now, well, nowadays, if you find that the people calling the comics as the graphic novels, but we refrain from using this word graphic novels just because uh, Hilary Shooting 2008 is uh, article, in, sorry, in her article, she wrote, she wrote that it's the graphic novel, it's a business and craft. Though the word, though the phrase, though the term was coined in 1964, but we we still refrain from using the word, using the phrase or the term graphic novel just because it's a business centric term. Rather, we focus on the comics because uh, because the the core word, the the source of this illustration is the comic. That's why we stick to the word comics. Well known and popular forms like European comics, comic album, Franco Belgian comics like Bon Disney or Japanese comics like manga. So there are several, several forms, several titles or several names of these comics. And it depends on the culture because if you go to manga art, it has its own cultural influence. It has its own influence of, his, of their own race, of their own people like that. And if you go to the Franco-Belgian comics, you will find that there are several aspects, there are several influences of these art schools. I will talk a little later on in, in respect to the Tintin and Tibet. And there is one this comic album is called European Comics. In that you will find there are so many pages coalesced together, administered together, and assimilated the ideas so that it can produce a single way of meaning. And there are so many, so many numerous theories right now in comic studies, and we can apply that 
in our study of that particular book. So terms in comics, since I just discussed, so here's an example that what is a panel? See, the panel is the full frame on which all those images are coalesced together, all which images are assembled together. The gutter, what is the gutter? The gutter is just the, look at this, look at this uh, arrow. The gutter is the smallest narrow space between these two panels. Okay, the speech bubbles, these are the speech bubbles, you know, where the, where it, it needs to, it, it, it denotes the speaker's voice. It denotes the who is speaking because if you if you put an oval shape round and uh, if you put some text in that uh, people maybe uh, get confused with the who is who's, who is speaking so that's why once you put the oval shape and you put the arrow or maybe some two two small oval shaped circles uh, these are called the speech bubbles and uh, sometimes if if the if you need to show the character is thinking actually is not speaking to the other characters but is thinking we use the thought bubbles. So here you can see that thought bubbles or thought balloon. You can say anything. So here you will find that there is one big bubble, and after the, and under those bubbles there are small, so small bubbles. It means that it is coming from the character's mind or character's brain or character's head. And other is the caption, where the caption is. This is the caption where you can find the narrator is actually communicating with the reader. The narrator is actually communicating the plot of the story or the background of the story to this narrator and the sound effects see this is the sound effect. if you if you suppose if you slap someone if you fall from fall from some uh, up, I, mean, I mean some places then you need you need not to write that oh my god i have fallen oh my god someone has left no no, no. you don't need to write those things you can use the sound effects to portray to represent that particular sense of emotion to particular sense of that thinking Comic studies. What's in there? See, comic studies are a field of academic research focused on comics and sequential art, consisting comic books, comic strips, cartoons, graphic narratives, animation, digital media, and recently the films also, since we know that DC and Marvel and all these things. Comic studies is composed of theory, history, philosophy, aesthetics, cultural relevance of comics, as well as the industrial production marketing collection of comics and comics art so on one hand we will find the why comic studies is important because while we need to we need to interpret the text it has nothing to nothing less than a literary art uh, literary text because it has the literature it has the text it has a story it has a narrative everything it has but it is represented in the form of a visual format in the in the, in the form of the visuality in the in the sequential art in the sequentiality so what is sequential art sequential art is nothing other than the art which has been represented in a, in a visual format but it is it is sequential yeah you can tell me that every comics or every graphic novel is sequential no there's this is impossible because there are some uh, graphic uh, novels sorry graphic graph narratives or comics where you can find the uh, you know you know you know the flash forward and uh, flash forward and uh, flashback and flash forward. So all these techniques are there, and sometimes you can find uh, the you know some some something is happening, and the next portion is happening almost almost 50 pages later. So there is there is a sequentiality maintained, but that is something else. That's the technique is called the archaeology, the regular archaeology, the resident archaeology, other things that that I'm not going into details right now. So the class another section is that the comics industry that. How comics is produced and how comics is getting marketed. Since this is comics, the word comics was there. It was not pretty much well, uh, you know, assessed and well acclaimed by the readers or by the publishing houses because comics was meant only for the children. So people did not take the subject, did not take this genre as seriously as they take it as you know some other 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 genres of the novel. But when they termed as the word graphic novel. Uh, the industry, the publishing industry, they find that, oh my God, this is a new, new term. So we can push this book to the reader self in the name of this graphic novel. The third one is that comic studies and it draws scholarship from a broad range of disciplines, including history, literary studies, media and commission art, art history, sociology, linguistics, philosophy, business and marketing, so many things, and recently the censored subjects as well. 
so comic studies as a whole the studies of comics is nothing other than the literary theories we need to apply on one hand and we need to find out that what are the things that the comics artists the comics practitioners they are doing because what what i will draw is not the same what some other will draw so this will there are some differences there are some uh, uh, you know different approaches uh, in india you can find that there are some different approaches from northern uh, uh, india uh, northern section of the indian part and the uh, uh, northern part of the india and the southern part of the india you will find that there are so many differences in using the arts so but the themes are the same look at this the themes are more or less the same but the way the approaches the different uh, you know uh, you know the strategies they are very much different now coming to the uh, uh, you know tintin in tibet or tata uh, otobe harji who is harji this man is named at harji his original name is george prosper rim he is a belgian cartoonist and he uh, uh, bernard uh, havelmans a crypto jewelist gave harji a book inscribing on the inside the suggestion that one day this character tintin will meet yeti now the the whole novel the whole graphic narrative is all about how tintin uh, 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 has a chance to meet yeti in tibet Uh, this is the whole construct or uh, whole whole first whole aspect of this uh, comics and there are three parts in 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 tintin in tibet and harji has beautifully drawn uh, this comics why uh, because there are two aspects one is that since tintin in tibet is since tintin we know that tintin is meant for the children yes if a child can read tintin uh he will be amazed and he will have some uh, imaginary island he will have an imaginary uh, self to imagine that tintin uh, is nothing but the person who is reading and at the same time tintin is written for the uh, uh, you know adult audience also is not not only meant for the children but also it is meant for the adult adult audience as well why because there are so many uh, things underlying inside uh, uh, this comics and what are the things that we will see in the next slides see this is the uh, 20th uh, i mean the, the, the there are 24 comic albums and this is the 20th comic album uh, in the adventures of tintin that has been that has been published from 2 uh, 1929 to 1976 and uh, uh, it has been illustrated by george prosperini and the film the film rj and it's a milestone in the franco belgian comics why because uh, belgian comics uh, franco belgian comics at the time during this uh, second world war you can say that 1920 and 1926 between the second world war uh, during that period it was it was it, you know uh, german communist party actually uh, went to invade uh, belgium and france and it has so many nuances like marcel and school of art like uh, you know the lignite clearer technique or linear clearer technique better to say uh, what are these what is what are these these are the marcel school of art where the uh, with the comics the comics panels the comics uh, frames are put together as if it has been drawn and there are so many nuances in that there are so many complexities in that whereas the on the other side the linear clearer or linear clearer what is that Ligne clearé. It means L I G N E C L A I R E. It's nothing other than the clear line technology. Simple, clear line technology. In Tintin, if you see the conspiracy, you will find that most of the panels are drawn as if you know one one single line. And suppose if you see the face of Tintin, the one oval shape. If you see the eyes of the blazing lightning, heart blazing lightning. so you'll find that the two dots as the eyes so it is nothing other than the clear line technologies or the clear line strategies that is that has been uh, uh, um, uh, that has been uh, put together in tintin and and we can find that you know, there are several series on tintin and if you can find amazon prime there is uh, three or four 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 series or um, of tintin you will find the films so it's talking about the human humor satire and commentary on society and several characters on tintin the tintin and snowy snowy the dog captain haddock who is very much 
uh, speaking the you know speak the words like billions of bilious blue blistering barnacles and this is the repetition of this word you can find in tintin by captain haddock professor calculus bianca castifiore and thompson and thompson the detectives which you will not find in this in this particular comics so the arts and techniques the first art i am just talking about that uh, see the word see the work of art how 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 is it very much in clear how the clear line strategy has been maintained all through the pages of all through the panels of tintin and why why it has been employed why the strategy has been taken because this is pretty much clear and expressive uh, look at the look at this section look at this section you will find that this is uh, this is a section where uh, it's written that possibly possibly all right let's suppose is still alive so someone is talking chang and look at the expression of 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 this captain haddock and tintin the 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 the, the note of exclamation and a note of the interrogation are there so nothing other than that nothing other than that. A, a, a speech bubble or a thought bubble or a scream bubble better to say and the true oval over their head nothing other than it is written so it is very much expressive it's more of a uh, written language that sorry it's more of expression expressive language than of a written language in the next portion you will find also that the some of the portions which has only uh, only images only expression nothing other than that uh, look at this look at this the, this portion where you will find that uh, he is going to sleep the zing nothing other than that next uh, let me just just move this thing just wait a minute yeah yeah see here here the uh, here this dog is found something dropped into the uh, water the splash now they are not speaking anything the good heavens the captain and they heard what the splash and the water is coming upward so these are the clear and ex clear expressions that has been all through the pages of uh, 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 tintin tv and this is the last page why i am taking this because if you know the story of tintin tv when uh, when chang was found and chang has been taken away by uh, tintin and the other shapers like tharke and all these people uh, the yeti is seen as a mourning yeti uh, mourning just because he has lost chang he has lost his friend and look at look at the expression look at uh, the expression of this yeti you cannot find you cannot find the face of yeti he is just seeing those human kind the human uh, being who are taking the uh, taking chang from him because uh, we know that yeti uh, we don't know whether it is yeti it is this or not but we know that yeti sometimes eats a man and yeti will uh, destroy the you know one studies and all these things but uh, yeti is very much sad and uh, tint uh, sorry harji could have shown yeti's face but he has not seen here he has uh, look at the camera angle the, the mind angle from which uh, you know harji is drawing he is drawing from this angle where from the yeti can see the human race human means taking uh, chang away from him so it's a beautiful expression nothing other there is no speech there is no speech bubble there is no thought bubble only the the the, the morning yeti who is standing very much there looking at the human being and then the then harje put the uh, the final word the end so it's a it's very really much clear and expressive style and look at the use of the lignite clear or the clear line take a clear line style of the strategy arts and techniques in the clear line level hard just sought too much attention for the outside aspect of his work in strip making strip making means in making those panels gutters and all this strip making he considers his narrative technique and com compositional hierarchy equally important to his style of drawing it took me 20 years to understand that the story is more important than art because until less you have a strong narrative you have a, you have a you have a good good point of view you have a good uh, strategy even when your art is very much uh, uh, thought provoking or uh, uh, immensely beautiful but until unless your story is very much uh, impressive it will not 
create an impression in the minds of the reader. So it's written by the independent Harji biographer who is Van Opsel. Okay. So the themes in themes in Tibet that we must focus that the theme of beauty of friendship or beauty uh, uh, in the friendship in in all these people like the people from the western world you know the tin tin captain haddock uh, snowy snowy obviously the dog but we, we need to know that uh, dog uh, snowy is a best friend to tin tin journey and adventure because uh, it's a journey from the west to the east from the west for the westerners it is very much uh, uh, unknown the unknown east at the face and the tibetan buddhism and the mystic monks and the th last one is very important that the mysterious mountains monastery and the yeti so these are the basic themes the basic topics we must focus on while reading the text okay so i'm just going to the next phase here i am just showing you that uh, before I, I i discuss this particular uh, image or particular illustration i must tell you that uh, see all these images uh, are taken from national geographic magazine you know the this is the monastery and it has been portrayed see look at one and two the one is there in tintin in tibet the two, which is the exact photographs has that has been published in National Geographic magazine. So Harje took the ideas, took the ideas of monastery, took the ideas of India, Nepal, uh, the, the Delhi, Kutubinar, and all these things, and the China and the Tibetan monastery, all these things from the National School of uh, sorry National uh, Geographic magazine. And the second one, the second one is that. The monastery and the monk. See, welcome, all travelers, to the monastery of Kharyong. And I thought there are three of you. And look at this thing that how this photograph was published and how it has been taken by Harji as a source material and how it has been quoted in the in the in the in the comics book. The third one. This was published. The sixth. Uh, I mean, uh, image number six that was published in 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 this national national. Uh, geographic magazine and when we see that uh, Tintin with his friend is uh, reaching Kathmandu, uh, Harje is portraying, uh, Harje is putting the illustration of that particular monster. Look at this uh, illustration, look at the usage of this particular thing. It has been properly taken in, in this panel. The second one, look at the how Sherpas, how Sherpas uses their, you know, all this um you know clothings and buildings and all these tents and everything and how in this picture point of picture number two it has been uh, reused it has been illustrated by um Harjim. and when captain had fell from this uh you know mountain and it is the mountains and it is a picture where uh you know uh you know himalayan porters and how they uh, sorry himalayan uh, shapers and how they practice this thing and that has been quoted on captain uh haddock so these are the things that these are the sources of the inspiration from uh, uh the national Geographic magazine and that has been taken uh, by harji in tintin in tibet but we should know that we don't know that whether harji was uh harji had visited tibet or not but he has Tibetan monsters, Tibetan uh, monks, and uh, and the other things like I will show you, uh, and the Himalayan mountains, the foothills, and everything beautifully in Tocho. Look at this thing. The, the the this is the this is the this is the monks the carrying the musical instrument, and that has been totally uh, portrayed uh, presented by Harji in the Kong. So these are the things, the sources. Uh, where, where, where from Tintin, sorry, where from Harje took the source for Tintin. The journey, quest, and adventure. Tintin is a representative of the Western world. Now, if we see that, uh, if we see the, the, the people from the Western world, if we see from people from this Western, uh, Western, Western philosophy, they have always keen, they are always keen to know 
the eastern mysterious mystic philosophies so it's we can say it's a journey of thinking from the west to the eastern part of the world and 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 the chinese monasteries the buddhism the monks all these things has a kind of or as a secret philosophies that we don't know even they say that uh, you guys never know that what are the what are the secret things that has been in our culture in our religion uh, you can't you can't accept that you can't know that you can't understand that it redefines the journey the journey redefines the relationship between the western self and the non western other when tintin sets foot to the east to search for chang his friend here under the garb of the quest for uh, uh, chang it has been portrayed or it has been secretly portrayed by represented by arjay that uh, it is also an exploration of tintin of the eastern part of the world the the indian part the indian philosophy the the, the chinese monks the monasteries and all these things and at the same time at the same time if you if you see that uh, if you see the monks in uh, tintin in tibet you will find that they they come to know that tintin has a good heart that is why the monks uh, are ca ca calling him as great heart why great heart because everyone in tibet knew that that chang died due to a plane accident but only only tinji knew that chang will definitely be uh, alive and 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 uh, the and the mo mo in the monks also the highest priest also they thought that he is uh, it, he can alive so i will talk that later on visiting the eastern parts of the world and encountering the various or inspiring experiences in the cities of delhi nepal and tibet uh, so while in delhi uh, tintin tintin visited the kutub minar tintin visited the red uh, red fort and all these places and he found that oh my god this is beautiful places so it's an it's an exploration of these places also it's a kind of you can say a kind of uh, a travel quote unquote single quote or double quote you can put it like that uh, it's travel from the western part to the eastern part it's an adventurous travel because uh, until unless you know uh, that uh, you you don't know that where you are going you don't know the exact the destination where you are going because you tintin doesn't know where chang is where the exact written uh, uh, so, sorry where the exact uh, where the, what is the exact place where the plane crashed so nothing new is almost a newspaper he found uh, where uh, where this was written that the plane crashed that's it the tibetan monastery the abominable snowman the yeti and the sherpas and the blessed like lightning the the highest monk the highest priest or, or, or in the buddhist monastery who can see who can foresee that uh, uh, the, there is there is there is some kind of avalanche in the in the small and footy and and uh, he he can see from long uh, distance that uh, there are three men once the, the other guys are saying that there are two two two, two people he says that no there are three men and one 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 uh, one human with a beautiful human uh, sorry with a good heart uh, and he want to explore he want to explore uh, the 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 man who is very much uh, you know missing the the man who is named as chang and look at this look at this cases look at this cases i read this cases because it's very important uh the great heart you have forgotten this why it's a chance car it's really very kind of you i see i see the horn of the yak below the eye a cave see look at the use of the ellipses because he is seeing he is forcing everything from his vision okay he is he is trying to find out chang so that in a way it can it can help uh, uh tintin and captain haddock so that they can go easily to the particular place so i see three ellipses i see ellipses uh the horn of the yak below the eye on a cave i see i see a boy this car belongs to him he is lying on a couch of juniper branches impossible there must be a catch in it alas 
is possessed by devils now 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 the now the blessed lightning cannot find out the who the devil is he has a fever he has a fever means uh, chang has fever but who is this approaching him i cannot see clearly uh now i see better it a photo a quick no 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 one will ever believe us oh the mego look at the expression because he has foreseen the shape of that particular yeti so it's very much it's very much uh, all was he is very much awestruck with the vision uh, in his mind the vision of that particular yeti so in a way it's it's very much Uh, a, a kind of alien subject, alien matter for the team for team team and and Captain Haddo. So now Hardy is Hardy is portraying these things from his point of view. Look at the things that Hardy is portraying from Western's point of view of the Eastern. The Easterns are having a magic, a charm, a, a forcing qualities. The monks are very much uh, having a forcing qualities of what is happening on the other side of the of the of the of the of the hill or the mountain. Uh, so he can see that. He can see that, and he he is he is telling Tintin and 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 Captain Haddock about all these things. And later on, Captain Captain Cap, uh, uh, Captain Haddock. Uh, Finds that yeah, it's very much important, and Tintin also finds that it's very much important to reach that particular place to 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 save Chang. Whatever he is saying, whatever he is saying, he is very much true to the fact that Chang is very much alive, but he is surrounded by some devils. And look at these places that how uh, uh, the visiting and the mapping and mystic and the mystery. And why is it so? The adventures toward the unknown knowledge of the Orient. here you can find that here you can find that uh, 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 while taking the flight from delhi the the, the guy from the airport we can say that you can visit the city so he is pretty much there in the city he is roaming around he is meeting the people and captain harlock finds it pretty much where to find the indian indian tradition uh, you know all this all these things the indian culture and it's pretty much uh, it's very much different from them and various local colors and the unforeseen experience in the uh, exhibits like kutub minar red fort jama masjid and rajghat the memorial of uh, you know mahatma gandhi and all these things they visit through their journey this is the exploration of india as well by tinti the exotic culture of the monks the gesture of the grand abbot and the extra sensory vision of the blessed lightning also throw doubts and confusions to the western travelers especially within captain haddock who doesn't who doesn't believe in who doesn't believe in this eastern mysticism eastern mysticism because blessed learn this blessed lightning in the very in the very uh, beginning at the very beginning finds that there are three men and uh, uh, the other guys sort two people but this is a no there are three men and and the boy has a good heart the boy has a great heart and there is a a, a dog with, with with them who is very much snow colored why eastern spirituality thousand zen and buddhism versus western logic and enlightenment so it's it's a, it's a, it's a battle it's a battle between the blessed lightnings understanding the extra sensory perception and captain haddock's questions uh, 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 about this mysticism and why 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 tintin uh, sorry why harje was very much a keen to use Uh, use this kind of mysticism in that because uh, at the very you know around uh, 1960s or in 1950s uh, in 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 Harjee's biography it has been written that Harjee was very much uh, adhered attached to these philosophies the philosophies of the other part of the world like 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 in in US right now the philosophy the Hindu Hindu Hinduism. not uh, no, not the other politics of hinduism the hinduism the hinduism as a philosophy that they want to explore right now and they find that the hinduism or the buddhism or the uh, and the buddhist monks all these all these cultures has uh, 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 this humility in their philosophy has a devotion in their philosophy whereas the western logic is very much aggressive is very much uh, attacking is very much uh, you know uh, having some kind of colonial power 
uh, that is what it is all about and whereas the spirituality the the, the spiritual uh, devotion all these things are very much in eastern part of the world the oriental philosophies if you read the, uh, the passages to india you will find the same thing the mystery is unraveled through the journey and ingrained with the deep seated colors and expressions so in in one scene in one scene i tell you what happens in one scene uh, uh, captain haddock find something that has been there and he thought that this is some kind of fruit that is getting uh, dried under the sun so he asked the man that what it is is it this fruit so he tried to taste it and it was unfortunately the red paper the red paper it was uh, they they were they were uh, you know putting that uh, under the under the sun to, to to make it dry but unfortunately captain had a taste that and it it was a, it was a blunder for him so another thing is that the encountering the yeti so these are the things the uh, if you if i can i can divide tintin into between the three sections the first section is that the western part of the western part the second part is uh, you know the uh, tintin and his uh, attachment to the buddhist monastery and the last part is very important the encountering the yeti uh, in one scene in one scene uh, the tharki says and uh, other guys are saying that uh, you know uh, uh, in in the cold days where the, there is some snowfall the yeti comes and drinks the beer and then goes away so it it is it is very much uh, uh, important to know that the, the existence of it is there in the minds of the uh, you know the people in the himalayan hotels and the next day it was it was told by the other guys the shepherd at uh, in the at night and the next morning uh, captain haddock didn't find the bottle of beer he said that i just put it there only at the midnight and uh, oh my god it's it's gone and uh, he found the bottle uh, at a distant place and it's, it's, it's there some some portion of beer is there but uh, you know it is considered that the ap came at night and took the beer bottle so the encountering the ap is first that the, it's considered as the abominable snowman uh why it is abominable because you know in buddhist monastery the monk the blessed light says that the it's a devil it's a devil because they can't they can't face this abominable snowman this they can't face the devil that's why it's, it's called as the abominable snowman it is it is living in the snow another source of mystery and the prime was in sweet it so they, they 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 saw the figure of they saw the figure of the yeti uh with the binocular but they didn't didn't face the yeti and it's a, it's a prime quest is obviously chang but at the same time the prime quest was uh, uh, another the exploration of the adventure of finding yeti the humanity in aspect of yeti to add the sense of wonder what is that that yeti the yeti could have could have killed chang but on the other side uh, it, it has some humanity in it humanity in values that the chang who is only the survivor of this plane crash it has uh, he has been taken away and he has been nursed by the yeti so yeti has the sense of uh, you know sense of uh, treating someone uh, with his affection so it's kind of human approach that has been portrayed that has been put together in yeti by uh, harje it is doubtful whether tintin actually sees him or the character has been created deliberately by the author to continue the mystery lying beneath the himalayan footprints because at last he found chang but uh, he didn't get the trace of that particular yeti he saw with the binocular a, a figure a figure like thing like it but he was very much confused whether it is the yeti or not and the last 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 point is very important the yeti uh, sums up what the traveler looks like in a journey the thrill and most importantly the excitement now the last section what is that the post colonial gaze in tata otibe uh, tintin a representative of the western world uh, and that epitome of humanitarian values so tintin here uh, is not only exploring the uh, uh, eastern world and he is a representative of the western world we all know we all know the the colonial british the colonial european european countries uh, uh, that they they settled their colonies in the eastern part of the asia 
like in uh, in nepal bhutan all these places all, all to them in india better to say so they had all, they have always a keen attention to find out the mystery uh, in 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 china in nepal in bhutan and in india as well so tintin is nothing uh, none uh, no one but an uh, a representative of the western world uh, who is exploring the eastern world and he has the humanitarian values so that we can be in the size uh, we that he can in the size uh, the eastern part the 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 the, the, the and chang is the representative uh, of this eastern world redefines the relationship between the western self and the non western others so if we if we focus on the post colonial theory that we the, we know the self thing and the other so once they call themselves self and uh, they call the others the the non whites or the non westerners as the others in that case the we the we are the very much others and uh, and 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 they are very much self on one hand this is the representation now once tintin reaches uh, uh, tibet it is the vice versa it is that the the eastern self and the non western others here 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 you can find that uh, uh uh here you can find that yeah here you can find that the blazed lightning on the right side you can see here it is fine you can find that the, welcome o travelers to the monastery of tibet but i thought there were three of you so the more uh, so the blessed blessed lightning uh, comes to know from his vision that there are three men who have come to this world to this eastern world to this eastern world and and while 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 they ask that how do you know this that we have come here this uh, blessed lightning said that uh, it you you are from the western world so you can't understand uh, that how we get the vision so it is something very much the eastern world the western world and the representation of the vice versa because they are in the eastern world whereas we call ourselves self and the other part of the world as the other so they are the other we are othering them and we are making ourselves as the quote unquote self another thing is that the comic nurtures an appeal towards for grounding the other so while they say that this monsters this monks and all these places have some kind of mysticism the vision and all these things related to the monsters uh, while we also portray and the comic com comics this this comics also portrays the otherness on the other hand the otherness of the other uh, otherly world the otherness the other people from the other world so these are the things the the foregrounding of the otherness before the oriens exploring the non western other and domesticating and imbibing the otherness of tibet nepal and himalayan foothills so all these things that that just i discussed another thing is that that anthropocentric framework between this animal and human being the relationship between yeti and chan now 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 look at the anthropocentric framework that has been attributed uh, in tintin in tibet like uh, like we have seen a uh, friendship between the yeti uh, and the and chan on the other side you can find the friendship between uh, the snowy that the, 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 the dog and uh, tintin and another side you can find that captain haddock has also an affinity towards uh, uh, this uh, uh, this snowy the dog so all this uh, the the friendship between this animal world and the human being has been attributed in this uh, 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 in this in this in this uh, uh, i mean animals and the human qualities are also attributed uh, upon the et it is it is considered as it is it is also considered as a mystic devil like yeti they has the 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 human qualities like mercy it has the human qualities like that the care giver to to chan so all these things uh, comes under the post colonial gaze the gaze the western world sees us the gaze through which 
the eastern western part of the world who considered as uh, who considered as 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 the east, uh, sorry the western world who considered as themselves as a self they can they are seeing that this can be there in the eastern world the yati is given a subjective position at the end of the narrative where the animal is endowed with pathos and sentiment that i just discussed uh, just uh, two three slides back and otherness lies in the appearance of the monks of the tibetan monastery the main priest and the sherpas of the nepal so the othering of the uh, of the othering uh, of these people from the western world it, it lies in the appearance of the monks because there are several times like when the avalanche was there when they reached the monastery and later on when the uh, the, the 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 blizzard lightning attempted to keep the yellow scarf of chang to uh, to to tintin uh, there also he found that the, the the some kind of vision and some kind of things mystic things better to say uh, they are with the monster monks and the monster people and here thank you thanks a lot if i'm not i think i just finished this thing within the process time and i'm just stopping the sharing